What up and welcome back to Dose. Got another special episode. We are at the world premiere for Burton's 13, their all new shred flick from 2013. We're at Angel Orisan's Foundation, the Lower East Side of New York City. Tonight is gonna be bananas. Flatbush Zombies, the RZA, the Burton team, everybody's in the house. Let's do this. 13, we're all gonna see it for the first time tonight, at world premiere. Um, have you seen the film? I saw like a rough cut, like a rough edit when they were going through it. I'm hyped, it's like everyone had really good footage, like came together really well. Like it was a hard year for not a lot of snow everywhere and, and uh, everyone like pulled together and got really good footage, so I'm hyped on it. Tell me what it is about New York City that this just makes it different from any other city in the world to have a snowboard premiere. Oh man, it's crazy actually, like just thinking about New York and like you don't think about snowboarding really associated with it, but everyone always comes out and shows good support here, it's, it's cool. Alright, we're here with Mark Salas. Mark, how you feeling my man? I'm great. I'm enjoying this moment right now. New York premiere, we're having fun, and I have not seen the movie, so I'm filled with anxiety, I'm filled with excitement, so we're just waiting to see what happens. When you're going into you know, a season of filming and you know you've got a finished product that you're working on, do you map it out, do you blueprint it all, sort of what you want to happen, or do you just let it, let it come? I mean, I think everyone tries, like, they have the idea of what they want for their video part, but when it comes down to it, I mean, it snows somewhere, the next day you're driving out to a place you've never been, you can't predict that stuff. Tell me, like, what do you feel, you know, about having this premiere in New York, in this crazy building? Yeah. We got Rizzo, we got Flapper Zombies, I mean, this is insane. This is insane, this venue's amazing, the crowd's amazing, I'm just happy to be here. Let's go do it, let's have some fun now. Tell me a little bit about what you were going for in putting your part together for 13. I try to go out there and just put a full part together that I'm stoked on. Some people make it more complicated than what it really is, but it's just, it's all about having fun. You concentrate on urban shredding for this part more than you did sort of big mountain free riding? Definitely, definitely more urban than anything else. I got hurt halfway through the season, so I had to film like in my element, which was urban riding, which I love to do, which is fun to me and which I know. Terrier five minutes ago told me it's kind of like rollerblading. So what do you have to say to the, the you know, the, he said that. And you have certain guys who only do like urban stuff. A lot of the urban stuff is like, I know they can get hurt and stuff, but you know, it's like, it's really close to rollerblading. What do you think about the haters that, are, that, are, that aren't feeling ur urban riding and, and why is that and, and you know, what does that mean to you? I don't call backcountry rollerblading or anything like that or scootering. This shit's gnarly. Either I have respect for anything where you put your wife on the line, I got respect for it, and that's it. He's just f***ing around, man. He's, he, he used to do the same shit. He just likes to, he likes to step on toes a little bit and see how you react. He's a good guy. Thanks a lot, man. Anytime. Have fun tonight. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs>